allowed. <laughs> but I do it anyway. Um, no, I don't. But it's fun. It's a hysterical show. I think it's really funny and zany, and it's kind of this wackiness to it. And, and France is so ridiculous that there's there's kind of no acting involved. It's just me <laughs> channeling every horrible French stereotype. <laughs> And the worse it is, the better the directors like it. And so I just get there and be like, oh, yes, I'm having fun, it's wonderful. Um, my latest thing was, I went in and we were doing uh, like the latest season, and I go in and Leah Clark had left a blue Snuggie in the booth. <laughs> it was like the booth Snuggie now. And it was blue, that wonderful French royal blue. And I see this, and I'm like, you know, and I made character while I was sitting there, which drives Scott Sager insane. He makes him cry with laughter because I just say the most horrible things in that accent that are never to be repeated. And I see this, I'm like, what is this? No, you're like, can I try it? I'm going to try it. Is it one size fits all? Okay, here we go. So I like, I'm trying to figure this thing out because you have to put it on backwards, like some kind of weird apron. I'm like, this is crazy. It's like, ah. So I'm like, they just, they just are wrong with my mom. Be like at the same time that like my next line was France in a dress, like going, Look, I'm as pretty as a princess, it's like twirling around and everything. And so I start doing this in the booth, and like, you get like, oh, on while he's like in the background, like, no, 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 no. I look down, and like Scott Sager and his engineer are crying, <laughs> so crying. and I'm like, Oh, what's the matter? Don't make fun of me, this is just all I'm trying to do. It's hysterically funny to me, and, and, and the scripts are so funny. And it's, it's, and so it's so cute and wacky that we all have a blast on that show. It's uh, yeah. I wish it was a lot longer than it was. I could do I could do the French voice like all day long. And every day I do it. You can get excited. Yeah, everyone else is excited. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know, because it's always the same answer. Uh, and they're both female, which might tell you a lot about me. Uh, um, no, they're, uh, as an actor, the people that I find myself uh, most fascinated with are character actors. People that can become a totally different character without the use of makeup. You know, like the Tracy Ullman show and, and modern TV, you can make a woman look like a grown man you know, with the right prosthetics, but like, the talent of just using your voice and your body and your acting ability to be a different character. And there are two people that, one of them gets grossly overlooked nowadays because she's an actress from a long time ago. Her name is Lily Tomlin. Phenomenal. One of the best actresses of all time, as far as I'm concerned. I've seen her perform live and do three characters, having a conversation with one another, and not leave the stage, not use any props or costumes or anything. And it was believable. It was totally hysterical. And it was an old couple and a punk rock daughter. It was hysterical. And she has this whole thing she does. And the other is Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, very, few, very few people knew before she was you know, the woman that is super not conservative on The View. Which is, I love her. Because she's the one that always gives it to the conservatives. Uh, but she had a one woman Broadway show where she played seven different characters. It was two hours long, and every single one of those characters was three dimensional. It was not just this silly girl who wanted to be white and wore a shirt on her head. Like that little character had a lot go like a lot going on, and each one of the characters in that show were very real people. So uh, yeah, like actors, and I and. Once upon a time, I used to say actor and actress, and now I think that's, I think everybody just uses the term actor now. Um, actors like that really impress me. And like, while, you know, somebody that's like the Hollywood flavor of the moment might, might be nice to look at, they don't really offer me much in, you know, how much range do you see Brad Pitt giving anybody? Like, I'm sorry. Not a lot, not a lot, you know, not a lot. But like somebody, somebody, uh, he he can be fine. That's what we pay him for. Totally <laughs> <laughs> are paid to be nice to look at. Stand there and look. But no, uh, just look pretty, guys. Don't open your mouth. Just look pretty. <laughs> Jolie is a really good actress. I can't say that about her. Like she's a phenomenal actress, and she she plays on multiple levels. But uh, you know, good character actors are always a lot of fun because you never know what they're going to produce next. Um, there are three. Uh, there is Bill Murray. Um, <laughs> I, it's very odd. It's very odd to admit, but I'm admitted it's a state of I'm like, really? I'm like, I, it was like my first crush. Oh, I, 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 I
I did this for you in quotes, but the crush thing, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Well, and, like when I first met my husband, we were working at Guitar Center, and he did the little piano thing, and what they need that, and I'm like, <laughs> hi. <laughs> that's from Ghostbusters, by the way. Stop making us feel old. Yep. She's 